Everyone I love has superpowers. And they will tell you that their origin story did not make them who they are. The people I look up to did not tell me that their Uncle Ben, destruction of Krypton, night at the opera is what made them strong. The people I look up to did not tell me that their drug addiction, alcoholism, grief is what made them strong. The ability to become after the world sledgehammers you is what makes them great. My mom does not tell me her story is what made her super. Let me explain. I was born and bore witness to her immense strength. As far as superheroes go, she is by far the most OP. With a frame of more than 10 inches, my mother, not too trans, redefines comic book badassery. Super strength. With one hand, she has carried four sons and tossed their sorry selves through college, and with the other, made my father a mountain of a man, a pebble smoothed into the shape of her palm. Intelligence, such gems like do it right once or do it wrong three times. Don't be sorry, just don't do it again. And of course, the world's favorite, of course I know everything. I'm your mom. <laughs> Telepathy, all the times I thought I was being sneaky as shit, but she was just letting me get away with it. Clairvoyance, she can see ghosts too. She can still see her father like when she was seven, still hanging in the kitchen after he found out the communists were going to take him away. Still drifting in her mind back and forth, a pendulum ticking away her innocence. She hears ghosts too. She still hears the cries of my sister, feels her small form, all bundle of light, all star glow, gone as soon as she's shown in our world. Resilience, all she could do was watch, watch her mother's wedding ring spirit away into the captain's pocket, jingling with all the other boat people's tickets out of the only home that they have ever known. Watch countries deny refugees of safety, of humanity, of existence. Watch days crawl in a re-education camp where she learned nothing but adversity, immortality, she should have died become a statistic about Vietnamese immigrants who did not make it, a prisoner of Viet Cong, and another shouting point for American protesters to end a war that she called childhood. And yet she still stands, stands as a lesson to prove how incredible we can all be. She has never let her tragedy trump her triumph, never accepted that this was all there was, never waited for a miracle to grant the miracle that I, called mom, only gave me my cape and told me that I could fly. <laughs>